Hey everybody, I'm Jason from Curious About Cannabis. Thanks so much for joining us for a quick question once again. Today I want to talk all about cannabis resins. What exactly are cannabis resins? It may seem like a very simple question, but there's actually quite a bit to unpack here. And before we get started, please consider subscribing, hit the bell icon so you get notified of future videos, and help us on our mission to spread reliable cannabis science education to anybody who's curious enough to learn. And now, let's talk about resins. In our What is Cannabis video, we talked a little bit about, one, that there are many ways that people interact with the cannabis plant, but really one of the main ways that people interact with cannabis today all has to do with the cannabis resins. Well, cannabis produces resins in one of around six different kind of formations in these structures called trichomes. And the word trichome is really interesting. It comes from a Greek derivative trichoma, which means hair. And funny enough, a lot of these trichomes actually look like little hairs. Now these trichomes present themselves, like I said, in about six different forms, and they can be broken up into two primary categories. You've got glandular trichomes and non-glandular trichomes. And the non-glandular trichomes are these ones that I mentioned that really look like hairs. They're just kind of pointy. There's not a whole lot going on to them. Although they do serve important functions for the plant. They help insulate the plant. They provide some basic defenses along the plant's tissues to try to help prevent pests from really getting in there and feeding on them and that sort of thing. But when people really think about cannabis resins, they're usually thinking about the sticky glandular trichomes where the really interesting chemistry happens. These glandular trichomes can be broken up into a couple of different subcategories. We have capitate trichomes and we have bulbous trichomes. And really, I wanna focus on the capitate trichomes for this video. If you wanna learn more about bulbous trichomes, I'll be making a follow-up video shortly to dive into those. But talking about the capitate trichomes, these are trichomes or resins that contain little heads Capitate stalk trichomes are these trichomes that have a head, so capitate. Just think about what does decapitate mean? It means to cut someone's head off. So capitate trichomes are these trichomes with heads, these glandular heads. Capitate stalked trichomes are capitate trichomes with a stalk. Yeah. And then capitate sessile trichomes are these trichomes that have a head but no stalk. And these Capitate sessile trichomes generally just rest on the plant tissue and they kind of look like little fish eggs. That's how I think of them at least. And both capitate stalked and capitate sessile trichomes produce the chemical compounds that we often refer to as the active constituents of cannabis. Although I have a whole philosophical rant about that terminology that we'll get into on another day. But uh, this is where you primarily find your cannabinoids and your terpenoids. Um, these are like these oily fractions of these resins that often contribute to most of the effects that we attribute to cannabis. Now, if you want to learn more about what cannabinoids are, what terpenoids are, I'm making separate videos on those. Go ahead and dive into those quick questions where I'll break down some of these concepts even further. But just to summarize, what are cannabis resins? These are trichomes. They can be presented in about six different forms. There's two main categories. You've got your glandular, non-glandular trichomes. Your non-glandulars are your kind of hairy looking trichomes. Your glandular trichomes are the ones where the interesting chemistry happens. And among those, you have capitate stalked, you have capitate sessile trichomes, and you have a couple different forms of bulbous trichomes, which we'll dive into in a future video. So I hope you found this interesting. Make sure to stay curious and take it easy. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified of more videos and go ahead and check out another video while you're at it.